And a good evening, everyone. This is the report of the week. And here we are back on camera for the second time today. So this video pretty much is just going to talk about, as the title kind of says, Tosh.0. Oh. All right. I'm going to talk about my experience on the show, what it was like, and uh, answer at least a few questions, which a lot of people might have, you know. So first, to any people unaware, uh, last night, it was March 1st, I was actually on Tosh.0, which is a, you know, it's a popular show on, on Comedy Central, hosted by Daniel Tosh, of course. And I was on the show for what they call a celebrity profile. Um, and it was during a, you know, a part which, you know, I was in this Domino's Pizza kitchen in South Korea, and they had Daniel Tosh dressed as, you know, Guy Fieri, and, uh, you know, I was there. And gave kind of, you know, a little interview there. And that was that, right? So, you know, the episode has since aired. And now comes the, the questions. People are always wondering, you know, perhaps, what was it like there? How's, how's Daniel Tosh off camera? How big is it actually? Did you actually go to South Korea? You know, and all that stuff. So we're going to cover the questions and all that. And uh, tell you what it was like. And I apologize in advance. I'm going with Red Bull tonight. I got... One hell of a headache, and uh, you know, I figure caffeine and any sort of pain relievers will help a bit. So, you know, drinking up. But anyways, so first question, right? You might be wondering, how did this all start? How did, how did they even? Did you contact them? Did they contact you? How did you get on the show to begin with? And it began through the email correspondence. I have. My channel's main email, you know, the Rep Week interview one, um, which is used a lot of times for both business use and also if people want to write to me and say, you know, fan letter and not send it via YouTube, they can use that email and just write to that. So that's how I was contacted by the Tosh.0 crew, you can say. And with a lot of these shows, some people will try to contact them, try to say, hey, I got this video, um, you know, can I be on the show, whatever it may be. But most of the time in, in that business, they're the ones who contact you, not the other way around. So they contacted me a, a few months ago, and we were able to work something out from there, you know, back and forth emails, eventually a few phone calls as well. And uh, we were able to find a good date for filming, if you will. Um, from there, you know, we, we picked the date. I was uh, flown out to, to L.A. Um, the trip itself was, was short. It just lasted... Um, I was just there for one night, and that was it. You know, it was like, you know, got there on a, say, a, a Thursday evening, you know, and and left that Friday night. So it was very, you know, it wasn't a long trip at all. I kind of just went there, filmed, and then went back. Um, so that was how that worked. You know, everything was done eventually through telephone or through email. The dates were picked and all that. Okay. So... You know, you're in L.A. now, and the show is going to be there that day. How does that work exactly? So pretty much what happens is, uh, you know, they have a, a, a chauffeur, you know, a driver, um, pick, picked me up at the hotel that morning, drove over to, uh, you know, the, the Tosh.0 film studios. Um, from there, kind of went to a, a room where, you know, you filled out some, some whatever, and then you got got you know makeup done. Then believe me, everyone puts makeup on when they're when they're on television. Doesn't matter who they are, everyone gets makeup done. Um, but that was applied, and after that was the wardrobe. Now, a lot of people have a lot of people who don't know the lore behind everything. Um, we're saying you know, your, your your suit on that show was way too big, man. But you have to put two and two together here, and you have to realize, on television, especially on comedy television or any sort of non, you know, professional news television, there's such a thing called a wardrobe department. And to cut it short, you know, what being that it was a comedy show, what they wanted to do is they wanted to kind of base some of the episode, at least off of the 2012 pan pizza review where you know i was wearing that big you know steve harvey suit um 
sitting at the table with the four button jacket buttoned up and was you know bunched up on the shoulders and everything um and of course made it look quite big so they just wanted to exaggerate that and uh, they made me made me try on a bunch of suits and the problem with it was that most of the suits i tried on looked <laughs> too good on me and they eventually had to slap on a you know a size 44 uh, l jacket and and pants and you know to get the the look that they they wanted um but that was all done for the show just for you know for for bleeps and giggles you know and uh and what have you so that's where the whole suit comes and that black suit wasn't mine it's i don't even know where it is now or what probably in some you know hollywood clothing rack and you know in la somewhere but i originally actually wore just a gray traditional suit you know that i always wear and and that's just what I wore in, but, you know, it's just the wardrobe change down there, right? So you get all that done, now it's time for filming. Um, they lead you through these, you know, these hallways, and you get into this giant studio. It's about the size of, it like an airplane hangar, you know, these big ceilings, you know, long rooms. And you walk in, and they actually built this little, this little enclave, you know, this little, um... <laughs> they actually built a room inside of this this film studio. No, I didn't go to South Korea. That that never happened. Um, but rather, they actually built this Domino's Pizza Kitchen inside the film studio. Of course, so they built the walls. They built the you know they they transported the pizza oven in there. They transported the the bins of all the ingredients. You know the floor, the little you know Korean posters on the walls, and all of that. Um, that was just a set. That was just a, you know, Hollywood set, if you will. I wasn't in an actual Domino's, you know, I was, you know, it was just a, uh, just a Hollywood set. And, uh, so we just began, you know, I was kind of sitting there. Then, uh, you know, of course, Daniel Tosh came in dressed as, as Guy Fieri. And, uh, we did the interview. The interview really lasted a, a good hour. Um, it, it lasted a good hour. Many questions were asked. And, uh, you know, obviously they had to condense it down into, you know, two, three minutes. So a lot of that was obviously cut out. Um, but that being said, you know, there's a lot in there. As I said, a lot was cut out. And uh, I guess what they felt were, you know, the highlights, the best parts, you know, that work in favor of the show were what was left in. Um, so there's that. After that... Right, they actually they then they then filmed the reviewing sequence, and the reviewing sequence they actually did bring in an actual you know a pizza, um, stuffed crust pizza from Domino's, which I never had before. They just made them custom for the show, I'm pretty sure, and you know it had the the pork and the vegetable stir fry on it, um, with the kimchi stuffed crust, and I was number one surprised at the amount of resources they used for this show because. They didn't just bring in one pizza. They brought in, I mean, at least probably 20 or 30 boxes of that pizza in, I guess in case, I, I have no idea. But, you know, they brought in that many boxes of, of that, that pizza um, to use just for that scene. And, of course, we only needed that one pizza. That's all what was used, but, you know, that's what we had there. Um, you know, that being said, you might be wondering, what did that pizza taste like? Um... In all honesty, believe it or not, in the show, I actually gave a full-blown pizza review, but that was, you know, cut um, to, to portray it, you know, in a, a specific manner. But the pizza actually was, was pretty good. Um, the crust was blander, but I do remember that the, the pork and the vegetables were very fresh, very flavorful, and honestly, if Domino's actually released that pizza, I, I'd eat it. Um, I seriously would. You know, actually, it wasn't even that bad of a pizza. Um... A lot of people also wanted to know what was Daniel Tosh like off camera. You know, was he, people were saying, was he, you know, the same asshole that he is on the show, if the, the, you know, the on air persona that's, you know, necessary for the show. Um, and truth be told, he's a real nice guy off camera. Um, even during a lot of the interview, he was just a, a really nice, friendly guy and uh, very easy to get along with. Believe it or not, if you've been following with the reviews, You'll be aware that there is a review that I filmed from a car of In-N-Out Burger. And you might be able to put two and two together now. 
believe it or not, I was mentioning to to him, you know, that I had wanted to try in and out burger, but I just didn't have the chance. I didn't have the time to do it or any of that. So he actually decided to, you know, get one of his assistants to actually take me there to the in and out Burger and uh, let me film a, a review for it. And I just thought that was really nice of him to do. And uh, something that, you know, I just thought was really generous of him to do. And, you know, it's a nice thing for him to do, you know, so there is that. Um, but honestly, just very friendly. I know he may seem, you know, one way in the show, but off camera, he's just a really nice guy. Very friendly, um, I will say. You may also be wondering how many, how big the production of the show was. I'm just looking for other questions to answer. You might be wondering how big the production of the show was. And believe it or not, it's, it was big, you know. There was a full crew of at least probably 20 people behind the cameras. There were three, you know, professional television cameras there. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of work really, really did go into it. Um, a whole lot did. Let's see if there's anything else people wanted to know. Um, you know, but but on, on set, it really was, you know, it was busy. There was a lot going on, but, you know, during the filming, everything was quiet and, uh, you know, or, orderly, you can say. Um, really was surreal to be on the, on the show, you know, to, I remember it. You know, just through my own eyes, you know, leaning against that counter and talking one on one with, with Tosh, um, and then to see it from the angle of these television cameras, um, you know, very surreal to see it from that different perspective and to say, you know, damn, that's that's me right there. Oof. Oh boy, you know. The whole day though was it only lasted around three hours tops. You know, an hour to get ready, hour for the interview. And then the other hour to kind of wrap things up and to uh, film the closing scene, which is obviously done, you know, with the big green screen there. Um, there were, there were. I know a lot of people said I was being overly serious in it. I was just, you know, if you've watched the channel long enough, that's just me being me. But also I was trying at several times not to laugh, um, especially when he was doing his, you know, mock Guy Fieri review of the pizza <laughs> I had to contain myself there. And also, uh, at the very beginning, you know, when he walked into the, the place, and, you know, the, the, the Korean lady there was, was all traumatized by him. It was quite funny and uh, couldn't help but, but crack a smile at that. But honestly, it, it uh, worked out good. You know, of course, it was very busy and not a lot of time spent there, but overall, it was a good experience and... Uh, you know, I always say, no matter how the episode turned out, it was all in just all in good fun, and uh, for me, it was a great experience that I'll definitely never forget, and uh, really appreciative of, of actually getting that chance, getting that opportunity to be there, and uh, to be able to do that. If you have any more questions about the show or the experience that I had on it, uh, comment below. I'll get to them, and uh, that's all we got. Thank you for watching. I'm the Report of the Week, and we will see you later with another review. Take care.